Aloha, absolutely wonderful job today. Make sure we're in tune, high G. Our middle C. Our E note. And an A note. What we wanna do when we hear these notes, get your ukulele strings to sound like these. So the top string, the high G, if it's not this one, try and twist the tuning peg until you find that note. Once it's all tuned up, it should sound like this. Our first chord incorporates doing one of our exercises called spider exercises. Now spider exercises don't need to have the ukulele in tune per se. However, it's great if it is because your ear starts to register what those notes are. What we wanna do, Lucas, is take our first finger and take our first finger and play at the same time. Now there are two different types of notes down here on this hand. There is a pointy note, boom, which is super pointy on the fretboard, presses down real hard and we make sure that that note comes out. If we don't press down hard enough, it sounds like that. It sounds kind of muted. Also, if we play on the fretting, on the metal, it also kind of sounds like that. So what we want to do is we want to play right in the middle. It'll be nice and loud. The other type of note is a flat note where we actually place our finger down on top of all the strings and we bar them down. It's two different ways of playing. Sometimes we use combinations of both and we'll get there later. But our chord of the week is going to be an F major. Now the F major utilizes the F note, the A note, and the open C note, <coughs> as well as the open A up here. We have four strings on the ukulele, right? Well, all of our chords are made out of triads, a one, three, and a five. Now in the key of C major, our other chord from last week, we make that by playing these three strings open, which make a C major. C, E, G, one, three, five. C, skip D, E, skip F, go to G, one, three, five. C, E, G, and then this top note is a C because this top string is an A string. So we have an A, A sharp or a B flat, a B, and then a C. And what I'll explain to you next week is there's no half step between a B and a C and an E and an F. We'll talk about this over and over again, but this is the first time you're gonna hear it. What we do is what we move up our spidey exercises. So when you get really good at playing these three fingers, and also that fourth, but especially that third finger, that note right there plus the three open strings gives you your C major, your chord of last week. What we learn how to do is switch between a C major and the chord of this week, an F major. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first finger on our playing hand, put it on the first fret, not on the nut, not on the fretting, but right in between. And we're gonna find the E string. So here we go. The E string is this one, but the reason why I know it's that string is because the high G is the closest to my nose, so it's not that one. The C string is the thickest, means it's a little bit bigger than every other one. It has a bigger girth. The other ones are a little bit smaller. So this one has the thickest string. And then the one right after it is the E, which you're gonna put your first finger down on that first fret. Now press down real hard, make sure you get the note. If you get this, it's not down hard enough. You need to press down harder until you get that note. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna take this second finger, this middle finger, and we're gonna be playing the second fret on the high G. So the string closest to your nose at the second fret. With these two, two notes, the F and the A note, we have an open C, which makes my triad. F, G, A, B, C. When I get rid of the B and the G, I get F, A, and C. And so can you when we play F major. When we play these notes, that A, open C, F, and A have to ring true. Because if one of them doesn't come out, doesn't quite sound like enough major. So what we do is we focus on playing pointy notes on the F note at the first fret, pointy note on the A note at the second fret, and making sure that the finger fat on the back of these fingers isn't laying down flat like a flat note, but pointy, boop, so the other two open strings ring true. Right? That's an F major. 
So between the two, what we do is play a rhythm. Next week, we're going to take these two chords and we're going to learn our first song, like the wheel. and strum with our other hand yeah that's gonna be fun and what it's gonna do it's gonna talk about what we clapped out this week these quarter notes so we had one two three four clap with me two three four one two three four one two three four one two three now these are quarter notes because each one of them gets one beat you guessed it so if i had the same sort of feeling and i played one note and counted to four like one two three four one two three four one two that's called a whole note because it's all of the beats all four of them one and two and three and four and one also two also three also four and one has a two and a three maybe a four yes so one and a two and a three and a four yeah those are whole notes the next one we do is called a half note which is half of that well if that one was worth four beats that means that a half note is only worth two beats so one two three four notice how i'm clapping on the one and the three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. Now, if I wasn't counting four for my whole notes, having a one, two, three, four, I could do one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and that clap would always fall on the one. That's if I'm counting just one, two. If I'm counting one, two, three, four, it always falls on one, and two, and three, and four. Quarters fall on every one, two, three, four. And if I said one and two and three and four and one and two, I'd be clapping quarter notes, but I'd be singing eighth notes. And eighth notes are just double this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Now here comes the 16th notes, ready? One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four. So I'll have to show you those next week, and they're really hard. But here's the thing: anything which is really hard to do really fast, all we have to do is slow down. Anything which is really hard to do really fast, all we have to do is slow down. If anything is ever hard, all you have to do is slow down. If anything is hard. All you have to do is slow down. Deep breaths, concentrate, try to remember what we worked on in practice. You're doing an amazing job. I love counting out these rhythms with you. Remember this week when you're playing, try and play your one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, until you get that note to sound out. And then move your finger up. Don't play on the middle fretting or else it won't come out. Make sure you're in the middle. Try and get that third note up. And when you get to the third note, try the C major, because that's where it presides. And then when you're working on your new F major note, you can play your spider exercise here and then leave your second finger there. Find your F note. What we do is we're gonna be placing our fingers on that and this an awful lot. So what we wanna do is we wanna learn how to play just those right there. So what I'd like you to do is at the nine minute and 30 second mark, I'm gonna set you off for your week's lessons. Play along with me with the spider exercises and then play your new chord structures as teeter-totters. Here at the 9.30, ready? Stretch. Nice and even.
make sure we get a tone out of there. If you don't get a tone, it sounds like this. You gotta press a little harder. And you will eventually get a sound out of there. Remember, these are pointy notes. So it's right on the top of it. They're not flat. You can do them flat, but it's much easier if they're pointy. Go through this over and over and over again until you get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah. And once you do this for five minutes here, five minutes there, I guarantee you this will become easier for you, buddy. Okay? What this does is it forms muscles for you. It makes you a big, strong player. All right? So what we're going to do is look forward to seeing these next week. And then after we get through doing this, working these up in half steps for our spider exercises, what I'd like you to do is maybe on the last one, like right here, end on this note and play your new your chord from last week, your C major. Now this one requires this C and this C being in unison, and these two notes being in harmony with them, which means if the instrument itself is tuned, you're gonna be okay. Play this chord out, just play quarter notes. Quarter, 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 quarter. Remember, you've got fingernails, which are nice and hard. So that's what you use to play, by breaking them across the strings. Excuse me. I really enjoyed seeing you this week, as I do every week. Try and practice for five minutes here and there, and I will see you again next week. Aloha.